This is a series of five patients with isolated bilateral zygomatic arch fractures that was drawn from a retrospective review over a 12-year period from a very busy level one trauma center, the Maryland Shock Trauma Unit. This represents about one uh, fourth of one percent of the zygoma fractures seen over that time period. Now please understand that these are bilateral, isolated, zygomatic arch fractures. The authors reviewed the clinical course and CT scans of these five patients and th that revealed the universal occurrence of skull and skull-based fractures with some significant central nervous system injury in four out of the five patients. The authors' clinical uh, correlation uh, and recommendations that in the presence of this entity, bilateral isolated zygomatic arch fractures should raise a high index of suspicion in the clinician for a thorough search for an associated skull, skull base uh, fracture. So what should be apparent to the readers is that this entity, of course, is extremely uncommon with an occurrence in about one out of 400 zygoma fractures. In uh, addition, the circumstances of injury were those of high velocity, and as mentioned, four of the five patients had significant closed head injury and arrived either intubated or were intubated shortly after admission. The arch fractures, in turn, were but single breaks in four of the five patients without any displacement and some minor medial bowing in the fifth. So although the authors recommended uh, a high index of suspicion for associated significant skull and skull base fractures in this particular entity, these patients presented with closed head injury, which would have mandated for a thorough imaging of both the head and the brain. And none of the five were initially assessed as maxillofacial trauma, but rather for closed head injury. So in summary, uh, although this is an interesting entity and certainly the mechanism of injury, of injury is interesting, um, I find the clinical recommendations perhaps something of a stretch. I think the, high like, the likelihood that an associated skull and skull base fracture in the presence of an isolated zygomatic arch fracture would, that would remain occult is highly improbable. Mm -hmm.